so we are back at JDM Hawaii. I was just here literally two days ago, and there's units that were not here two days ago. Like, look at this super cool Pajero. Has a full camel wrap, nice gnarly wheel, even has these little, like, they're not roll bars, but they look nice, and they're wrapped just like the outside. He has that little storage thing up there wrapped, spare cover wrapped, even the little brush bar up here wrapped and it says sold too so if you're watching this video and you bought this kudos to you this thing is super sick but in today's video what i want to focus on is i want to show you guys some of the new units he has in and i want to talk to slater and i want to ask him what's his process in picking these cars because i've showed you guys hundreds of k trucks but here there's just it's just different everyone is low mileage everyone is different like We've never seen a porter cab at another dealership. It's rare to just see a colored K truck in general. And then you add the classic front to it. Then he has a salmon sandbar that's here. He has a beige one that's here. He has a green one. He just has a bunch of different inventory that I feel like as much as I go to K truck dealerships and as much as I see them out there, they're never really just in one place either. Like he has a jumbo back there. I think I've literally only seen one jumbo in my whole life and he has one here. He had one last time I was here too. And it's just the inventory is different. Like there's no rips in any of the seats. I've showed you guys all these K trucks. Like none of them have rips in their seats. None of them are like rust buckets. None of them have holes here, which we're actually going to get into later back there. But I kind of want to just pick his brain and see how does he go about this? Even with the inside inventory, we got a 1970s Delica truck, very odd. The Nissan March slash Jaguar Mark II replica, very rare. And cappuccinos themselves, not rare, but to find one like this, you're just not finding your cappuccino like this at your local auction or just your local dealer. So I'm here with Slater from JDM Hawaii. And I want to just pick your brain and see what's your thought process and like how do you source these vehicles? Because these aren't your, you know, your everyday cars. Even the K trucks. Like I've seen a lot of K trucks, and I just realized none of them are sun faded. Like 99% of them are all sun faded on the roof, and these are clean. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard. It's hard to get the quality. Um, primarily, is because we don't buy from the auction. Okay. We do not do auctions because obviously, with auctions over there, there's no arbitration. You can't buy something, complain, and then get it sent back. I mean, it's here already. Yeah. You, it's going to take like 60 to 90 days to get to you. And by the time it, it's here, it's here. You yeah. just got to deal with it. Yeah. So let's go take a look. So this wasn't here last time I was here. No, this is a detail bay that we're creating. It's, um, officially, it's going to be Sky Shine. That's the name of it. Okay. Uh, we're going to be able to offer detailing services to our customers. Any um, car too, right? Any Not car, just their regular cars. They can yeah. drop it off. We'll be offering, you know, tools with a ceramic coating and, you know, everything. Yeah. Um, so. And that's nice. We'll make use of the space. Added service for the customer. But I was saying earlier in my video, like, I see K-Trucks all the time, you know, I see a dump, but to see this many classics, to see this many color trucks in general is rare. Yeah. Like yeah. for someone that I've shown hundreds of trucks on my channel, I've rarely seen a classic sandbar in general and then see one, two, three, four, five, six is different. Yeah, it is. It's now, it always, I've always wanted to keep color as yeah. a part of um, your lineup. Yeah. You always want to do that because it draws attention so people driving by if you have just all whites you know you need an eye popper so like if you glance down there the blue just jumps out at yeah. you yeah like you know and if you pan across here the green jumps out at you so you need you need show stoppers you need yeah. somebody something to jump out at someone yeah um so as far as trying to get good quality units it's we as i said before don't go shopping through the auction um i've gotten burned by shopping buying from a company that purchases from the auction yeah and since then we don't do that we have our suppliers in japan that literally go through and sometimes physically touch the vehicles if they can't get the vehicles based on where they are they would have the seller send them photos and videos of the of the unit um, and when they do get in the vehicle in their possession they run it through their shops, they get oil changed and you know before they, they even get here. Before they get here. They get their tires, they get all the inspection done. If the tires need to be changed, that'll be done prior to the, it coming here. Okay. So we're very particular about 
what we buy and where we source our vehicles. Um, because think about it, you're gonna wait three months to get a vehicle. It comes here and then it's a POS. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, it's stuck. a lose lose. It's a lose lose because then that customer, if you had a customer that reserved that unit and they were so excited about it, you're excited to make the sale. Yeah. And when the vehicle arrives, you're like, what am I gonna do with this? Exactly. Now you got a pissed off customer that you just lost, and then your reputation is you know exactly. starting to go downstream. Yeah. You don't want that. We can't afford to do that. Yeah. This is not worry about. We're about quality, and we want to just. That's why we handpick our units, and we work with a select. You unit. get a good quantity too. It's not like you yes. handpick and you only have five for sale. No, it's like no, we have, it's like what is a forty units here? Um, we have. Actually, yeah, about 45 units yeah. collectively right here, right now. Kind of back to what I was saying about buying from the auction and the reason why we don't buy. There's a company that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know that's that called Mitsui. Mitsui, they're a very big company in Japan. And yes, they sell about probably 700 units a year. So that's a big beast that they got to feed that's you know it's a monster to feed to sell that kind of volume yeah. you gotta buy in volume so we started to buy from them in the beginning and we were lucky we got a couple units in that were really good and you know so so condition but then everything went downhill on our last shipment that we got from them three of the units we actually had to condemn oh really Con like flat out condemn this is one and this is one. Now, why they got condemned? Let me show you. So I'm gonna have you open that door. So now, as you can see, it's there's a bunch of parts in here and looks like junk and that's probably, it's right now used as a parts car. So I don't know if you, you can see, but right there, this, if you see this is rubbery, this is a latex, Salute type material, rubberized unit. So there was all rust. So they basically just smoothed it over and then painted it. Wow. This is, you can see, like you can literally see through to the floor. Yeah, look. It's rusted all the way through. Look at the back there. Yeah. And there was, and of course the carpet, which was on top of it. Oh, look, you even see here. Yeah, made it worse. Now there's no way you could see that in the photos. Look at all the creases in the headliner this was a rollover the only way this could exist is if this vehicle was a rollover yeah so you see all how especially that area yeah and then look at that back corner over there oh, sorry the lighting may not be too good but so because of stuff like this there's no way we could buy from this company anymore yeah and let's take a look at that one and if you come down here right under if you could kind of get up under there so you could literally see straight through to the front so look at that look under the firewall and this was all painted over and the same rubber with, with this yep yeah. and so the, over here has the same rubberized material that they use look wow. like literally look look like i'm literally pulling it off right now look and you cannot tell by looking at the photos what you're getting. And over here, you could see where they sprayed it. So you could see all the overspray on the seat belt. And when it comes to a company like that, I'll ask you, you can show me, I'll ask you, um, does it, this isn't the, is it, it's not the same seller per se, right? It's not, but at the end, at the end of the day, it's their product. Yeah, so no, they're, they're at fault for sure. Correct. But like, could technically the same person own both these Hondas or very Um, unlikely? There's a possibility, but all these units that come, that are purchased, go, has to go through their mechanic inspection. Okay. Because when you look at their website, they boast about their vehicle maintenance and how they're inspected and all that kind of jazz. Yeah. But yet you see this. You no, know, this isn't rare, I'm, I'm assuming either. <laughs> so, no, no. Yeah. And I contacted them and my, um, they offered me $150 towards <laughs> my next, off towards my next purchase. Which is like. <clears throat> no, you just lost me. One percent of. No, like the, I just, like... I can't. So, in order for me to maintain 
the quality that I'm that my customers expect, I can't buy from them. Yeah. Because it's a it's a it's a uh, what they call it a wild can a wild yeah. It, you don't know what you're getting. It's a loose cannon. And you like don't. imagine, like you just said, let's pretend I gave you a huge deposit for yeah. this. I'm telling all my friends, I got a blue acti yeah. coming. I got a blue acti coming. Three months later, come and then this show up. And so they're gonna blame you. They absolutely. don't. They don't care about Mitsui. It's my fault. Yeah. They, they because all they know, they bought it from JDM. Yeah, they, they didn't buy it from Mitsui. Yeah, exactly. So they're not gonna say, well, oh, it's Mitsui's fault, and the, you know JDM is not. No, they bought it from me. Yeah. Now that acti. That Acti van, the street, so the Honda street, sorry, the bolts itself are all rusted. Yeah, they're no, like, I, I can see them. Like underneath, that's like they're literally like rusted off. So I condemned that the second my mechanic called me and showed me. I was like, no. So right now we're just salvaging it for parts. Yeah. So we have two units here that was from the same shipment. And these were the, the only supplier. two? Um, there was another one that wasn't as bad and we were able to salvage it but we had to put a lot more money yeah. into it. So I calculated what it would cost for me to get this to where it's sellable and it would have been about $5,000. Yeah, so it's just... It's not worth it. No. It's not worth it. And the van, well, it's not even a dollar number in it because that's, yeah. that's just junk. <laughs> yeah, no, this is... The... It's, it's not something... I wouldn't put my family in it and I can't sell it. Yeah, no. So another thing, if a vehicle comes in and we see that the tires are dry rot we automatically change them yeah so like for example if you look at these brand new tires oh yeah look if they if they're not changed in japan we'll we'll take care of that brand new tires we put on them so like example this again brand new tires look at the tires there's all good quality tires. that's another thing too a lot of the k trucks that i've seen most of them need tires right away because yeah. like yeah. they're old they're work trucks at the end of the day correct and speaking of tires we do have tires. Yeah. We got regular street You just, tires we could show the, the Honda. Oh, take these two. We just did lift on both of these. Yeah, with the stock hubcaps too. Stock hubcaps, yep. Stock rims. Yep. And these tires are for sale here? Yes, we do have those tires for sale here. And it has a lift kit, two inch and lift it kit. Has a, yep, two inch lift kit. And if you take a look at this 84, this came in just like that with, the, with all brand new tires all the way around. Wow, even the spare. Even the spare. Yeah, I really like this truck. Peanut butter interior, 1984 high jet. So, being in the car business, I, I've worked the franchises and a bunch of independents, and I, I've always considered myself like a boutique yeah. kind of dealer. No, that's what I love dealer. about this. Even at my other dealership, Sky Auto, we were never about trying to get volume out. It was more of cherry picking, finding the right units to offer to a small you know offer a small set of um cars yeah but high quality and give the customers the best bang for their buck yeah no there's a bunch of like i don't i don't even know what these are called but i maybe seen one in my life and you have two yeah even this salmon color sandbar like yeah. so <laughs> look at this tommy, thing the tommy tommy gate i mean this is so practical and another thing not to take a shot at honda but he doesn't have a lot of acties <laughs> do you guys know how i feel about acties he doesn't have that many acties you don't have any mini cabs either you don't have a lot of acties for some for and it's just my personal preference yeah um not that i don't like acties yeah um i've just had I, i'm more favorable yeah. to the others okay <laughs> i mean i don't dislike acties i just think they're overrated that's it that's it now, personally, I think a Daihatsu runs and handles way better than that. Yeah, I like Daihatsu. That's just me. I think Daihatsu is the best brand. They have the deck van. They, they did a lot of cool I, things. Yeah, that's just me personally. So, um, but yeah. Yeah, it's, even this one, though. We could talk about that one. So, this, so show, the, show the miles. So, I this mean, is a 5,000 miles. Real miles, too. Not a five-digit odometer where people are lying to you. 8600 kilometers like look how clean everything is headliner this isn't smoked out steering wheel looks brand new all the buttons shifter floor mats so yeah we, we, we try it try the, it came with the bed with this paint yeah, came with that painted tires already like this when we got it we as and also, if you notice the battery, it's a new battery, came just like that. 
and then we got big boys like this yeah no this this is another thing you just don't see yeah this is a toyota dyna look at the space <laughs> you can sit five back here easily what would someone even use this for Oh, easy. I mean, that's commercial. I mean, you got work, work crew. Yeah. Like um, construction. Construction yeah. companies that has a lot of crew to transport. Easy. Why do you like the front end of the classic sandbar so much? It's something different. It, yeah. it, I don't know. It's quirky, but it, it looks... Yeah, because like, we can look at this it's one. It's very unique. I, I think in... You're driving, if you see six K trucks coming down at you, you're gonna remember the classic sandbar front. Yeah, you are. It, you're gonna remember this, it's just different. Yeah, tomorrow's a grand opening. That would be a very fun video. All right. Thank you for talking to me. I'll walk around maybe one more time and show you guys some stuff that we might have missed. Kind of wanted to show you guys this salmon color car again. Like, it's paint brushed on, if you guys could realize, but it looks really good. It has a different steering wheel which again is painted on but it looks good and it's just odd it's just odd brown seats like everything about this truck is just weird but i love it probably gonna end this video here though catch you guys on the next one very very fun video coming tomorrow because the jdm hawaii grand opening there's gonna be like 50k trucks here it's gonna be catered it's gonna be a blast so i catch you guys on the next one peace out